guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. <laughs> Today we are talking about slowing down. <laughs> I know, I know. Coming from me, it sounds like, what? Why are we slowing down, guys? I get it. It's okay. I'm a little confused too. No, I'm joking. I'm not confused. <laughs> But it is very important to occasionally slow down and work smarter, not just harder. A lot of times we get so wrapped up in being busy that um, we're not really focused on being productive. So that's what we're talking about today. How to slow down and still be productive. Yeah, it's possible. So I have five steps for you guys. Make sure you put in the comments your favorite step. Which one works best for you? Okay. Step number one, learn to say no. Learn to say no. This one is going to be tough. I know. It's taken me some years to get comfortable with no. But in the words of one of my favorites, Lisa Nichols, apparently her grandmother was such an inspirational woman. She would say, baby, because she starts all her sentences with baby. Yes, I, I do know Lisa Nichols' grandmother's stories. <laughs> she says, baby, the more you say no, the more you exercise your power of your no, the more value you give to your yes. So what that means to me is if you always say yes, people will expect you to say yes and not even appreciate it. However, if you exercise your no, you learn to put value and weight and people begin to appreciate your yes and they know that you genuinely mean yes. As opposed to if you always say yes, they expect you to say yes and they really don't care if you want to say yes. The more you exercise the value of your no, you increase the value of your yes. It's just that simple. Um, and also, you create space to say yes to the things that align with your purpose, align with your passion, and align with your desires. Step number two, you have to get strategic about your time. You have to. I have plenty of videos about how you can get strategic with your time. Um, I don't have time is a, a video that's very helpful in understanding like how to really get strategic about that. Um, step number three, you want to work smarter, not harder. So making sure that everything that you do has purpose, has intention, has goals, has focus instead of just spinning your wheels. It's not really worth it. Step number four, have consistent alone time. Put your phone away. Turn your phone off if you have to. We are too addicted to being on social media. We're addicted to being on our phones. To the point, we never really have alone time. And I remember uh, a couple of months ago, I went to check into a hotel and I just to have alone time. And my father was like, don't you have alone time all the time? Like, you live by yourself. And I told him, I was like, you know, I am alone quite frequently, but having alone time is a whole different scenario. Having the space and freedom to just disappear and no one knows exactly where you are, it makes a difference because it helps you really check in with yourself and really understand who am I? What do I want? What do I need? What are, what are my goals, etc. So have consistent alone time. Step number five, recognize that less is more. Find your stride. Don't just run after everything. Focus and make strategic steps in the right direction and you'll get there and you'll have the muscle capacity to sustain it. So I'll recap for you guys. Step number one, learn to say no. Step number two, get strategic about your time. Step number three, work smarter, not harder. 
Step number number four is have consistent alone time. Step number five is recognize less is more. So put in the comments, which is your favorite one? How are you going to commit to slowing down a little bit more? And as always, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. If you liked it, let me know you liked it by liking the video. See what I did there? Yep. <laughs> subscribe, share the video with someone you think who needs it. Um, share it in love, not judgment. <laughs> As always, guys, I look forward to hearing from you. Again, comment what's your favorite. Subscribe, like the video. See you next week.